Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to make three shaker cards. Yep, I haven't made those in a long time, and so we're going to be using a brand new kit from Queen & Co. This here is called the Art Days Shape Shaker Kit. It comes with a fun little sentiment, um, sentiment stamp, I should say. There's eight sentiments in here, and I'm going to actually trim some white cardstock to put behind it so you can actually see some of them. But the sentiments in here are so fun and so colorful. Um, sentiments say you color my life. Your friendship is a work of heart. And that's H-E and then the arch is in parentheses. You make everything colorful. Wishing you brighter days ahead. So just and then a lot more. So cute little sentiments that will just cheer anybody up. You get nine foam shaker shapes. Then you get nine acetate pieces. There's three of each of the patterns. Um, you, this kit will create three paint palettes, three paint brushes, and then three art easels. So you get three of each, and if you run out, there's great news. There is refills available. <laughs> Let's take a look at the dies. This You get um, eight dies in total. This is your paintbrush piece. It'll cut out the shaker shape of your paintbrush. You get the top brush piece, and then there's this little piece that goes right on top of the brush, and you can use any color cardstock that you want to create a painted tip on the top of your paintbrush. There's your little paint palette and then you get your little easel with your picture frame and then you get um, the top of the easel. Now I added two tops to the easel and you you don't do that. <laughs> one of those pieces, the larger one, goes to the paintbrush. Um, it's the base of the paintbrush um, bristles. Okay, these are your shape shaker pieces. They're so easy to punch out. You just punch them out and they're ready to go. There's the adhesive backing on the top and the bottom. And I always keep my extra pieces after I punch them out because that's foam. And we all know that sometimes foam can be very expensive, so I keep them. Um, today's cards, all three, we're gonna be using the Flirty Floral 6x6 six six paper pad. This is also from Queen & Co. I'm choosing some bright colors, and most of them are going to be two-toned. So I have a green, a pink, a gray, a blue, and a yellow. But behind the blue is a rainbow um, pattern, and we're going to be using that. So we're just going to start off by doing a little die cutting. I'm going to make a card with a paintbrush for card number one. We'll take the base and die cut that out with the polka dotted pattern paper here. I'll take the tip of the paintbrush. We're going to have some pink paint on there, so I'm going to die cut that out. And then for my bristles, I'm bringing in another 6x6 six six, uh, matte stack. This one here is called um, Sweet, so Sweet Shop Salads. Sol uh, did I say salads? <laughs> Sweet, Sweet Shop Solids. So I thought we need to use a brown in there. On the reverse side is tan, but I thought brown would look nice. Okay, we're going to go ahead and adhere the paint to the top of our bristles. So that's ready to go. And you can see I cut down four strips. They're the same size. They're four and a quarter inches using the pattern paper. Um, I'm going to bring in a die set. This is the Foundations 3 die set. And it's great for matting and layering. Um, this largest die is going to cut out a panel that's slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. And this one will fit on the inside of that panel, leaving about a half inch border all around. I'm going to die cut out both of those with white cardstock. Now with this die, it's going to fit the length of my card base. I'm going to, so it's going to, it's five and a half inches actually long. Die cut that out with a rainbow pattern paper. Okay, everything's die cut. Now I'm taking these strips and I'm going to do something kind of funny, but I think it, the outcome turned out really neat. Um, using my paper trimmer, going corner to corner, top corner, top right corner to bottom left corner, lining it up on the blade of my, my trimmer. I'm going to trim down two triangles, basically. I'm going to do that to all four of my pattern papers. Um, and for card number one, we're just going to use one half of this. I wanted to kind of create like sun rays with the pattern paper, almost like a rainbow sun ray effect. <laughs> And those are going to be basically adhered to my inside panel. So I'm going to figure out my placement before I commit to adhering them. And originally I was going to do my paintbrush facing down and ended up flipping it around so it's facing up. And so basically this is what my layout's going to look like. We're going to separate everything and go ahead and adhere our rainbow piece to our largest back panel. 
we're going to adhere it all the way, almost all the way to the left, and then we'll take our tape runner and adhere it to an A2 size card base. Once this is adhered, then we can work on our panel. Okay, I'm going to start off by adhering the yellow, and I'm using the point of my triangle as a guide, and I'm placing it all the way to the left edge of my panel. I'm leaving a little bit of a white gap and I'm adding the green and then I'll do the same with the blue and then last I'll do the pink here. Kind of evenly spacing them. So basically they have one point that's kind of spreading out. And after I did this I thought wow that looks really neat. Originally I was just going to trim the excess off but I thought you know what let's take that same die that we use for our background and die cut it out. That way the strips behind there have stitch detail and it just looks a little more interesting. I love the way this turned out. Um, I have a little bit of adhesive on the top of my die cutting plate so I, it's stuck to my paper so I'm using my sand eraser to get that off. <laughs> okay we'll flip this over. It's going to basically go there and those stitch lines will line up perfectly to that back panel. We'll go ahead and adhere this down. Lovely. Now at this point, this is the point where you'd want to stamp your sentiment, but um, instead I decided to make my shaker and I think it's going to look fabulous right here. So we'll add the base of our shaker directly to our card base and then just using this leftover piece, I'm going to go ahead and trim down a piece of foam and fit behind the top of my paintbrush. This is a great way um, to add dimension to the um, extra pieces in your die set because it's the same width. Okay, once that's adhered, we're going to take the inside piece of the base that we die cut with the, the gray polka dot pattern paper. We're just going to place that on the inside of our shaker. This way when we add um, our shaker elements, the back side's just not white. There's a little bit of color that matches the front. I'm just using my jewel picker there to press it down. Now, we're keeping those because we're going to die cut about some hearts later on. But um, to fill my shaker today we're going to be using some diamonds pastel toppings. These are like little diamonds and soft colors that go perfectly with the pattern paper. I'm using four colors, pinks, yellows, greens, and blues. And I filled it up quite a bit. It's not going to shake too much, but I thought the, the sparkliness of it was just so pretty. I just removed the release paper off of the foam added my acetate and then we have a fun sh instant shaker. It's so easy because everything is cut for you. <laughs> I'm going to add a little glue around my paintbrush and then we're going to add our polka dotted pattern right on top and then I die cut out that strip with brown cardstock. Now I think, or, or pattern paper, I think hindsight, um, it, it does look great because, um, it doesn't look bad I should say because it has texture on there when you die cut it. Um, that little rectangle piece, but I think maybe silver would have looked prettier. You know what they say about hindsight. <laughs> okay, we're going to stamp the sentiment with Memento Rich Cocoa ink. I chose the sentiment says, you make everything colorful, and then I made a boo-boo. <laughs> the um, foam on the shaker was a little bit higher than my stamp, so when I stamped it, it didn't stamp completely. So we're going to do a redo. I stamped the sentiment on some white cardstock and then die cut it out using a um, tag die from the foundations die set number one. I went ahead and added a pink eyelet and then we're going to take some twine. This twine is a trio of twine. Actually it's called trio trims and this is the black color. But you know guys, everything that I use today will be listed below in case you guys want to check it out. But this twine's pretty. I, I've used it before. I, I love it. Um, it has a real iridescent sparkly hue to it. So I just added that to my tag. We're going to use some leftover foam and pop up our tag. And then we're going to place it right over our messed up stamp sentiment. And actually, I like it better. <laughs> Sometimes mess ups work out for the best. <laughs> it's happened to me quite a few times, so I think this is great. I'm going to add some little sparkle with some glitter glue over my top of the paintbrush and then also down the beams, just one side of each one of my beams. And then um, we're going to bring in some enamel dots. The enamel dots that I'm using are called Candy Swirl, and these are actually sold individually, but I have the bundle. 
and um, I'll list the bundle down below. But um, I thought the candy swirls would be nice because there's um, color and then white. It just adds a little something extra to the card. So I'm going to add a pink and a green and a yellow. There's two different sizes in these um, enamel dots. And so we'll add our green and then the last but not least we'll add a small yellow one here. And then that finishes off card number one. Super easy, nice way, different way to use pattern papers in a fun, cheerful sentiment. <laughs> I was I hadn't made a sugar card in a long time and I was super excited about this so that's card number one now for card number two I have my elements all ready to go we're going to use the opposite end of the pattern paper that we just used um, I'm going to alternate from the skinny end to the fat end and put them on some printer paper I'm just I already adhered um, the backs with adhesive so I'm just sticking them down again to very thin printer paper. You can use scratch paper if you wanted to. And then I'm just going to take my scissors and trim off the excess here. And when you do this, it actually creates a two and a half inch panel. I'm going to add adhesive behind the back and place this directly in the center of an A2 size card base. And then any excess overhanging on the top and the bottom, I'll just trim off. There wasn't too much, but we're just going to trim off the top and the bottom. It creates a real fun pattern. I love the way that turned out. I'm going to add a little glue because that was lifting just a bit. Okay, this panel here is from the Foundations die set number three. Love this pattern. I just something about it. I just love the way it looks. I'm kind of retro to me, <laughs> but I'm adhering um, some of the brown paper from the Sweet Shop Solids paper pack. And then I'm going to take some of that same twine and I'm going to tie a bow all the way to the left. Now you can see I adhered um, the brown pattern paper, or it's not even patterned, it's solid, but I adhered the brown paper to um, white cardstock. That gave me stability so my card didn't bow when I added my twine. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take some white cardstock and create a back for our next shape shaker. I just trimmed, um, trimmed around my die cut piece there to create a backing with white cardstock. We'll adhere this directly to the bottom of our card base. Lovely. Okay, now we're going to build our shaker. We'll just remove the release paper, add our foam shape, and then there's a little excess overhanging. So I'll just take my scissors and trim that off. Lovely. For this, we're going to keep the inside white, but we're going to use the same. Um, Pa diamond pastel toppings as we did for our first card and then I added acetate over the top. We're going to figure out our placement and I think there's going to look fabulous. Then I'm going to add some glue behind the top of our paint palette and then that's ready to go. Now I created a fishtail banner with a banner die that was in the foundations um, three set fit the sentiment perfectly. The sentiment says, you color me. No, you color my life. <laughs> Sorry. I was, I was thinking and creating at the same time. That's not a good combination. But it says, you color my life. I stamped it with the same brown ink. And then I'm adding the same extra fun foam um, to the top and to the bottom, leaving a little gap in the center. This way, my twine will fit right in there and it lays nice and even. We're gonna finish it off with a few of the candy swirl epoxy dots and then that finishes off card number two. Super fun. <laughs> For my third and final project today, I die cut out a banner here and we're gonna add some of that same sparkle string to the um, left here. I'm just gonna tie, tie a bow. The banner was created with a banner die that was in the foundations die set number two. I just die cut that out with white cardstock. You can see here to the left, I already die cut out my pattern paper. It's the gray one. I adhered that to my card base and then um, stamped my sentiment with the same ink. My sentiment for this card says, your friendship is a work of heart. <laughs> so cute. So that's ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and add our um, easel. I die cut this out with the same brown cardstock that we were using. 
And then for the frame, I used the frame die and die cut it out twice. Once with the pink cardstock and then, um, or pink pattern paper rather, and then once with the rainbow pattern paper. I'm gonna go ahead and use my frame as a guide. This way I can adhere the center of my, my shaker shape. And then we'll just remove the release paper off of our foam and add that. Lovely. I'm going to add a little glue and then we'll add the top of our easel. And then we'll fill it up with the same um, toppings, same colors. And then I'm going to go ahead, we'll add our blue here. And then last, we'll add our pink, no, our green. <laughs> okay, we'll just remove, we'll kind of mix it up a little bit. We'll remove our release paper and then add our acetate. And then we're just gonna get a little bit of glue around the outside edge and add our pink frame. You can see with the same pattern papers, this is with those little leftover pieces from card number one. I die cut out hearts, a yellow, green, and a blue one. Those were from uh, the heart from the foundations die set number two. Um, I was gonna add three hearts to the front, but it was too busy. So I'm gonna take two of them, add them to the inside and then just put the green one on the very front of my picture, just to go with the sentiment. I was gonna add some epoxy dots and thought, you know what, I think this looks pretty just the way it is. <laughs> so that completes card number three. Super fun projects, and I have six Shape Shaker sets left over, and then refills are available, which is a good thing. So these are the cards that I made with the brand new Art Day Shape Shaker Kit. I hope you enjoyed them. I have so much fun playing with the Queen & Co. Shaker Kits. I think they're super easy and relaxing and very fun. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. We will see you again soon. Bye-bye.